Hello and welcome to my laundry room. I am going to teach you a little bit about doing Norwex laundry with the best possible products you can do laundry with. Um, these are great for your health, the environment, they're great for septic systems, as well as completely hypoallergenic. So great for all skin types too. And super amazing because they're all very economical and I'm gonna show you how. Now, using the products I'm going to show you are absolutely the best care for your Norwex microfiber. And it will create a longevity in them um, by using these products because they have no fillers and they're going to clean them perfectly for you. I, however, also use only the Norwex detergent and the microfiber booster and the other products I'm gonna show you for all of my laundry because it makes everything super soft, everything smells great, it's clean, um, just fine overall that we are really, really happy with our laundry and the happiest we've ever been. So we'll never go back to the name brand stuff. The one on the bottom is the leading brand in North America and the one on top is the Norwex powder detergent, both of them are powder, uh, diluted in the water here. Now, if I take the Norwex one, I'm just gonna show you. It does suds up a little tiny bit. So there is detergent in there. I wasn't tricking you. It just literally dissolves into nothing. And that is because we have no fillers in our laundry detergent. Not only do we not have fillers, but we also do not contain any of those harmful ingredients or harmful things that might that you might find with other detergents um one of those things i would like you to even google after you've watched this video is harmful effects of sls and sles those are harmful endocrine disruptors and if you can get those out of your health diet i would highly suggest that would be something that you really look into getting rid of this one is again the leading brand in north america these have been in here for years by the way so look at all the fillers stuck on the bottom so fillers can be things like chalk sand fiberglass for example and they basically never go away what they are there for is to make your product look bigger than it is so you're needing more to do your laundry because you have fillers in the soap which don't need to be there they're also clogging your fabrics. So if you're washing your Norwex, especially, what happens is all these little fillers get stuck in your Norwex uh, microfiber as you're washing them, which then makes them hard, kind of crunchy, they stop working as well, they get stinky, all of those things. And by the way, that does that to your clothing as well. When you have washed your jeans, for example, or towels and hung them to dry, have you ever noticed that they're stiff and crunchy, kind of stand at attention? That's all those fillers in there. It tricks us into thinking we need fabric softeners because all these things are making your clothes or your laundry hard. When you're using a detergent that has nothing in it except for the soap needed to wash your clothes, guess what? Whole new ball game. You're going to have much cleaner, softer clothing. I just want to show you the amount of bubbles in this too. So bubbles, uh, the sudsing agent in there is SLS and SLES, and that is why companies use them because it makes them, oh, so bubbly and all of that. But so you're not going to find the same amount of bubbles with Norwex detergent, but you will find cleaner, very nice smelling, and just overall better clothing. So check out that difference though. That's a huge difference. I challenge you to test your soap at home and see what's in yours. Here is the scoop that the detergent comes in, just to show you like it is extremely tiny, but you're actually gonna use even less. So you're only gonna use about a teaspoon, which looks like about a sixth or a seventh the size of the scoop. And you're gonna pour that right in where your powder goes in your machine. For most high efficiency machines, there's a little cup in there or a bar, and it will tell you what to do with that if you're using a powder. Okay, so I put my teaspoon in there. After that, I'm actually going to add sorry, a teaspoon of our microfiber booster. So it actually comes with the same scoop in here, but again, I'm just gonna use just about the same amount. So just Now this one has a really amazing light lemony scent to it. The products don't make your clothes smell like those fake fragrances that are added to detergents on the market, but you do get a really nice, just clean smell. You'll know what I mean when you try these products. 
So the microfiber booster, what it does, uh, it's not just for microfiber, it is for laundry in general. It helps to just freshen all the laundry, make it softer, cleaner, helps with staining. It really keeps your clothing brighter, blacker, whiter, whatever the case may be. For Now something else I wanna show you, because we do carry a liquid detergent as well, is why I love the powder. And part of the reason I love it is because it's really, really, really fantastic at getting stains out. And alongside our stain remover, it just works a little bit better. So I actually don't have a stain in here, but I'm gonna show you how I would use it. So let's pretend that this blue square is a stain. So what I would do is just add just a tiny drop of stain remover. Okay, so just a little bit. And then unlike stain removers that are on the market, this one's not dangerous. So if you read the ingredients in a lot of those stain removers, uh, they're horrible. They can burn a hole right in your clothing. I've actually gotten a chemical burn on my fingers before and not because I touched it like this, literally because I opened it, poured it out and a little bit got on my finger. It's not doing anything at all. Um, so I've just rubbed that in, okay, to the stain. And then what I would do is take just a tiny pinch of detergent and I would also add it to the stain. And then I would add a little bit of water and just rub that in and throw it right in the laundry like that. Now something like one thing that I have that I do this with often is my winter coat is a Calvin Klein bright, bright, bright white coat, which as you can imagine, once I carry some things in the house here and there, um, you know, it doesn't stay so white, gets brown around the cuffs and things like that. So I take the stain remover, the detergent, maybe some boosters, sprinkle it all around and it comes out perfectly clean every time. So I love it. The washing net is great because things like your garments, so bras, bathing suits, anything, and bras especially that have like the clips, um, lingerie, stuff that's supposed to be dry cleaned. I didn't say that. Dry clean your stuff if you want to. For me, I like to save the money. I just stick it in the washing net zip it up and toss it in. And just to show you, like I have like six because they're fantastic and I use them literally all the time and cannot have enough of them. I love them for travel too. I take them with me and um, as clothes get dirty, they go in this as a dirty hamper. Then when I come home from traveling, I know all this stuff is dirty. If I take more than one, all the bathing suits go in one, um, and my kids' clothes go in another, and then my clothes go in the other ones. This is our odor eliminator. I absolutely love the odor eliminator. I would not do laundry without it. So I put a cap full, like a little splash. Well, so I usually just put it in this. Um, I think it's for fabric softener or bleach or whatever. I don't use either of those. So in there it goes, that's it, that's all. And lastly, if the load is um, like my kids' clothes, so there's just always staining and everything, I just go like this, which right now that's what I'm doing, kids' clothes. And I just put a little bit right in there, close it up, now I'm ready to start my laundry. Um, if you're doing a microfiber load, what I would recommend is find your quick wash and do a hot water wash, but do it on quick. This way you're saving money because you're doing a fast, it's only about 25 minutes or so, load of laundry, but you're spending your money on the hot water. So we're in here right now. One tip as well, when you're doing your Norwex microfiber, don't wash with linty materials. It does not shed lint. So your tea towels, your kitchen towels, for example, do not shed lint, which is another huge plus. Um, they also absorb everything as we know. So if you're washing them with like linty towels, for example, like a beach towel, it's going to have those little fuzzies all stuck and intertwined in here. If you have like a string on your shirt like this, like I have one right now, like that, and you wash this with microfiber, that string is now going to be intertwined all in here and you have to pick it out. So ideally you're washing things with like bed sheets, okay? Or maybe like the odd shirt can go in here. So anyhow, here's my microfiber, okay? So it's very, very soft. Again, that goes for all of your laundry, not just your Norwex. Um, washing in hot water is key also to keeping them soft like that. So the last thing I wanna show you with laundry is these dryer balls. I'm hoping I can find the other ones in this load without moving everything around too much. These green ones here are like a plastic kind of rubber dryer ball. They're great because the little spokes will help pick up hair if you have someone with long, long hair in your family. So they're great for that. And um, they're fantastic because they lift and separate your drying, right? Like bouncing around in here. And so everything dries more 
quicker and more evenly. So when you're doing something like a sheet, for example, it's not getting all raveled up and super wet on the inside and about to light on fire on the outside. So this keeps everything just much, much better um, for, again, drying time and also just evenly uh, distributed heat. And these ones, which are the fluff and tumble dryer balls, you can actually add a drop or two of your favorite essential oil to the balls. And then as it's tossing in here, it actually makes your clothing or your laundry smell like whatever uh, essential oil you chose. I'm gonna leave you with that. Happy laundry doing and uh, happy Norwexing. I hope that that has helped you figure out how best to take care of your Norwex. Thank you, bye.